you're happy, you're complaining Don't want for us to win, where do I start? First I wanna go to the left, then I wanna turn right Wanna argue all day, make a love all night Push it up, then it down, and in between Oh, I really wanna know What do you mean? Hey Wavy Babies, it's Ocean Sims and welcome to the first part of my new LP, Ramona. If you haven't checked out the trailer that I put out for this LP, you should definitely check it out. It will be in the link. Um, it will be in the description and a link down below. You have to check it out. I promise you won't regret it. It's like 80s vibes. It, it's, it's just such a feel good uh, little trailer. So let me know what you think about that. Oh my gosh, it got dark so fast. Um, but if you guys are new to my channel, um, my name is Ocean Sims. I play, oh, I do Let's Plays and Creative Sims. And I'm just super obsessed with my Sims. Like I give them super deep stories like the one that you're about to see here. And I don't know, I just like to bring life to my little, my little Simmies. Like they're my babies. Like I love them. <laughs> <laughs> um but yes so and um, why did it cut dark so fast oh it's 9 46 i need to get this girl in bed she has school and she has not been to the school before it's like her first day um so let us have her go to sleep this is anastasia de gray uh she is the daughter of ramona de gray who is over here so if you saw the trailer if you haven't again check it out it will be in the description below uh this is ramona de gray and she used to have short hair but it's grew a little bit and she decided to get bangs she went to you know change up her look but she's still wearing her infamous pink sweater because this girl loves pink it's just her color and ramona's not even a super girly girl but she loves pink she has a change of scenery she used to live in oasis springs with her husband drew dakota <laughs> she used to live with him this is drew dakota right here now it does say drew marshall only because his actual name his actual last name is drew marshall but his stage name is drew dakota so she used to be ramona marshall but she isn't anymore she recently got her name name changed to degray and she also because they had a pretty big falling out she also went back to the sim city like name changing place and she she changed anastasia's last name from marshall to degray that's a whole nother story within a story but this is our main character right here and she just moved in with her best friend and her best friend is Avir. this is Avir lake she is so gorgeous and she is a style influencer or at least up and coming she's a rag reviewer right now but you know we're gonna we're gonna get there we make 18 dollars an hour i can't i can't complain so this is the beautiful Avir lake she's been living in del sol valley almost all her life so she knows um you know a thing or two about you know the whole famous thing <laughs> uh let's see right here what she should do oh let's have her write an article yes we can do that so the thing about ramona and why is she here living with her best friend why um well basically after the divorce it got a little nasty she um she just wanted a new start she didn't want to stay in the house anymore and i mean drew was never there anyways we will get into all of that but because it gets really deep y'all it gets crazy deep it's crazy <laughs> but um after her best friend Avir heard the news, Avir was like, hold on, sis. Like, you are going to come all the way here to Delso Valley and you are going to live with me. And Ramona did not want to take that offer at all she wanted to find her own place by herself but you know what you know Avir was like girl you need to get on your feet first you don't understand the, the rent is a little bit more expensive out here honey like you don't just come out here and get an apartment like <laughs> you know what i'm saying and so Avir basically convinced ramona to just stay with her and she is just such a wonderful person Avir is like so freaking sweet like she's a goofball she's super like outgoing she wants to be a friend of the world she's so freaking sweet like i love her to death um and she just took them in you you know she even i'm actually gonna have her serve dinner she's gonna make some uh, grilled cheese sandwiches for like her and ramona um let me see here but yeah if you guys can see here and mind you the first episode is a little chatty because i want to explain everything so that when we start having fun you know what i mean messing with get famous and everything i want us to have really like feel for these characters i want us to really build a relationship with them including myself like <laughs> Um, but look, the room is a mess. You know, it's our, what, second night here, I think. And we still haven't cleaned up. It's still a little shock for Ramona. Uh, she is still very sad. As you can see here, she is sad from getting a divorce. It's still, look, she's back to being sad. It just, you know, three or four months down the line, and you still think about it every now and then. And I think it's just time for her to just get a pick-me-up for real. 
Okay guys, so I went ahead and added a beauty chair so that every year could, you know, just make Ramona up and just make her feel a little bit good about herself right now because she is feeling down and you know, it's like 12 in the morning and they're just gonna have like a girl's night. She's gonna make some grilled cheese sandwiches over here. Look, she's already bringing them. So another interesting thing is that Ramona is an aspiring actress and that was the reason why Evier was just like come here to Del Sol Valley you have put your dreams on the back burner for so long I know an agency AI staffing agency they're looking for up and coming actresses you know you already somewhat had experience you know what I mean you just it's just you know you're starting over from the bottom but you know you you have a passion for this she used to want to be an actress but because Drew was busy you know with his comedian stuff she just she just put her stuff to the side so she could be a great mom to Anastasia because Drew once he started popping off he was just never there at the house I mean it, there was just nights of just being lonely not knowing where he was when he was gonna come home seeing him you know come home a little bit you know booze <laughs> a little twisted you know maybe zooted too I don't know but um it left her to be with her daughter all the time which was cool because they have an amazing relationship but she put her dreams to the side and so now we are assigned to AI staffing agency and we're just waiting, you know, to have some uh, auditions happen. I actually think I can check them, can check them through here as well. Yes, I can check for gigs here as well. Oh, Evia really liked that movie. She was like, girl, that was sad. <laughs> but let's make you over though, Ramona. Let's make you over. Let's do makeup because Ramona doesn't like anybody touching her hair. So we're going to do um, her makeup. <laughs> they really love that movie. Evier was like, oh my god, as much as that was so sad, I like... Evier is a fierce woman, man. I feel like she has a super big heart, though. I feel like we need to we need to make somebody to be her future husband. She just... She's so cute. Let me see here. Is it the same? I didn't really like those choices I had. If I check them from the phone, will that change? Ramona's kind of picky. I'm not going to lie to you. Like, just because we have a gig and I really want to play with the acting career, it's just... Mm -mm. Oh my goodness, I want to move this. Hold on. I want to kind of rearrange the bathroom. Now that we have some grilled cheese and stuff, let's get the makeup going. Like, this is going to be so exciting. I'm super excited. Oh, hold on. This says 56. Okay, so when I was doing this house, I did use mother load. I really didn't want them to start off like... Like, I want them to be fortunate, but I don't want them to start off with, like, a lot. Because I want them to kind of feel like it's like a grind together. Because I somewhat feel like this was beneficial for um, every year as well. You know, being able to invest in other things. Like, her drawing pad, for instance, and just other things. Oh, I can actually see her, like makeup on her face changing and Ramona doesn't really wear like a lot of makeup and stuff like I said she cares about her hair and stuff but she's not like a makeup person wow she looks kind of different with makeup okay girl oh I love the little light that we have here too this is the cutest thing I've ever seen look at this oh, I wonder what that looks like in first person oh that is so cool I love that that looks so interesting and I wonder what that looks like from her end Wow, every year is seriously drop dead gorgeous. Like, I'm just convinced that, like, wow. <laughs> she is just everything. Yeah. So, every year prior to Ramona moving in, she had like this rack of clothes and the beauty chair and everything. I'm assuming she had it all in here, uh, even though we just bought that. But let's just say she took it out the attic or something. <laughs> you know as you can see she made room for her for her friend and her daughter and you know it definitely needs some cleaning because it's definitely a hot mess but you know rona just kind of moved in and yeah i don't even know what this is did she like oh my god she just had a wet like oh my god she just wet herself right there i think she's just not dealing with being here um and probably because she didn't know where the bathroom was and you know like when you're a kid and you're afraid to go in like the hallway because it's dark or something <laughs> like <laughs> i'm trying to empathize here poor girl oh my goodness um i'm gonna let her take a shower and handle her business but oh my gosh poor mona let's have her get some sleep because it's four in the morning and we did have a fun girls night i just wish i would have had them in their pajamas because i feel like that would have been super fitting and super cute now this is a girls night this is a girls night we have the same thing on this is hilarious 
Wow, it's literally six in the morning on a Wednesday, and look at Delso Valley. Like, can we just appreciate it? Like, I love how we have a park over here. I cannot wait to go to that park. We literally have like alleyways. Like, I am so excited. This is amazing. And look at these trucks. We have people walking down the alley. If I mean, look at this. All these cars. Like, this is just absolutely beautiful. It looks so real. Look at the plane. Oh my gosh. And did you guys know that if you're close enough to that plane, you, it will literally sound like a plane is going by, and it's so amazing. Like. Normally that sound is like really annoying to me, but for some reason Get Famous just makes me love that sound. Like, I don't know what it is. And oh my goodness, homegirl over here is still practicing. She is determined. She's like, I have to, I have to practice. I have to do this. <laughs> But, um, you know, she does have a good support system. Like I said, every year is just like, you know, you put your life on hold for the longest time, for the longest time, just for someone. So just for her to be able to actually chase after her dreams is something like that is something big. Like she should be proud of herself. I'll pat yourself on the back, girl. Like seriously. And little girl, why are you not awake? Girl, I'm going to have her eat this. And Avir just packed her some to have away too. So the good thing about having a bestie is that, you know what I'm saying? Like a best friend is going to pack your kids lunch for you because she knows that you are working hard in the bathroom on your little speech. Like that is so heartfelt. She's like, girl, take these grilled sandwiches that we made last night. Eat them all. Uh, let's have her put these away too. Avir is so cute. What does Avir have to do today? Uh, we don't really know what she has to do today, but I really hope we at least get like a gig. <laughs> like please. Sis. Work for Avir starts in about one hour. What would you like to do? I think we're going to work from home again. I think that would be awesome. So let's just do that. We have to interview some more Sims. So that's cool. I kind of like interviewing Sims. I like that feature. It's kind of cool. Um, and who? Why is he calling me? I heard you became friends with Avir Lake. She's pretty cool. Yeah, she's pretty cool, Dad. I like her. She's nice. <laughs> this is more like an auntie to her than like a friend. Um, like she really is starting to cling to Avir as like you know that godmom auntie type figure because you know she's she's here now. <laughs> Ooh, let's see, Ramona, you have no future work scheduled. Why? Oh wow. Um, so they're looking for me to pick up some work oh, wow i am terrible i thought they were gonna call me um but let me see here i'm going to just go ahead and a uh, girl cancel this we need to we need to book some jobs girl this is what happens when you don't really know how to play the expansion <laughs> Okay, so I had Ramona check some more gigs out and come to find out they actually added two more. One of them is making music and the other one is Salty Sus Comer. I think I want to do making, I think I'm going to do preclinical pharmaceuticals. pharmaceuticals. Like, I'm just going to do that one because I didn't really want to do the other ones, like even though they were already there. So we need to have comedy level two, which is perfectly fine because, you know, our um, ex-husband was a comedian. So that's always good and i think it's just gonna be really cool to have a little bit of flavor to ramona because she's very very um she's not boring but she has a very dry humor like i get her humor let's see here our audition for preclinical pharmaceuticals starts at 9 a.m on thursday so that is tomorrow at thursday so we literally have 20 yes yeah, so anastasia's in school right now so we're just gonna have avir and ramona actually leave and go out <laughs> Like, they are going to have some fun. Oh, my God. Look at this relationship. It is all red. That is so sad. I'm sure you guys have seen this map already. But look, it says we can go to Pectorial Fitness or Orchid A Go Go. I actually want to just go probably to, I don't know. Let's go to the gym. Oh, who's the celebrity? Look at that. Who is this? Um, Holly Alto. Let's go ahead and have. Oh my God, I love it. Let's have her um, attempt an introduction. Like Avir would not be scared to talk to a celebrity. Avir is screaming. She's like, "Look, Holly, I love you. You're so amazing, Holly. What does Holly do? Oh wow. So she's introducing herself. All right. She's gonna ask if she can take a picture of her. I wonder what she would say. I've never used this interaction. Uh, do you mind if I get a picture? Yes. Oh, yay. That's so cool. Wow. So she actually got an autograph from <laughs> from this girl, Holly. I don't know what Holly does. I wonder what she does. Meanwhile, Ramona is over here telling bad jokes. Oh, my goodness. She needs to just look at all of this. 
everyone's taking a selfie with who is this girl oh she's a rising star the real star here is bella goth though on some real stuff like if i was her, to be like y'all should be asking for my autograph like i am an og og character i am not a fan i am an og okay i'm the original so we are getting some working out in okay at least we can say that despite the whole celebrity thing and failing at telling jokes we are at least building our muscles like look at ramona she's taking all her anger out like this is for like leaving me at night and for your quote-unquote affairs yes y'all i said affairs like drew he's had some rumors going around like i don't know if he's been a completely faithful man and you know what he's very attractive and women flock but I, what he just re he just reached proper celebrity. At first, he was like a B-lister. Whoa, that's so crazy. He's even getting even more popular. That kind of like hurts. Oh my god, ugh, that that stings. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is your time to shine, Ramona. You need to fight, girl. Fight. It seriously, reminds me of like Rocky. Like, there's no easy way out. There's no shortcut. You want to know a fun fact? I am a freaking Rocky stan. I love Rocky. is my favorite movie of all time. Like the the movie that if someone asks me like, what's your favorite movie? It's freaking Rocky. Like don't you don't even have to ask me. Like I just, it's Rocky. <laughs> oh my gosh, I completely forgot to interview Sims. Let me go ahead and handle that and invite some Sims over because why? Let's invite her and Vanessa over and just interview them. Oh, she's talking to her daughter. Let's see. Let's cuddle. And of course, we want to become best friends with her. This is our daughter. I thought we were already best friends, you know? Excuse me. She's feeling very sad. Um, and it's so crazy because, you know, it's just, you know, three to four months in and it's still kind of fresh. So I think she's going to shoot Drew a text and just say, you know, I hope you're doing well. I've seen that, you know, you have became a what What was it? He is a what kind of celebrity now? He's a proper celebrity now. So you're a proper celebrity. Um, so we're just going to, you know, congratulate you on that. And that's it. Oh, my goodness. Hey, Ramona, you sound really down. Come over and I'll cheer you up oh my goodness i just i just like what do i say to you like should i go over there right now i don't know about it we are divorced we're not cool you know i'm just going to um i'm just gonna say yes but i'm gonna bring anastasia with me oh my god why did i do that what can we reverse can we just life is strange it and just reverse time like why <laughs> why like this is the place that we used to live and had somewhat memories and and now he has a dog oh my goodness he has a dog let's <laughs> let's go we could probably go pet the dog i think ramona's not really gonna say anything to him he, she's just gonna go ahead and go inside and we will probably have um anastasia talk to her dad she can try to cheer him up because he is feeling a little down himself about everything like he's very sad as you can see um, you know, he's also equally feeling it, but I think it's because he was trying near the end. Drew was trying like he really, really was. Um, but you know what I'm saying? Sometimes it's too late. <laughs> oh my God. I'm a hot mess. Like I'm a hot mess. Oh my God. He's crying right in front. Why would you cry right in front of our daughter? Like seriously, like why would you do that? Look at that. Like you're making it awkward. Like oh my god he's so hurt can you believe that where was all this when i was sitting here crying on the kitchen table like at the kitchen table like waiting for you to come back i don't get it i really don't drew's the type of dad where you could see him being a great father like amazing father but he just you know some he just chose his career before his his child So as you guys can see, we have Ramona here at a comedy club in Samai Shuno, and she is just telling jokes. She literally has no audience except for a viewer, which is a good thing because you know what I'm saying? We, we're practicing and I just want to do something different and kind of make it like a play on something. Um, just the fact that we need a comedy level two for our little audition tomorrow. Like, I just feel like that's just so fitting and I think it's funny and good for TV, you know, knowing that, hey, Ramona gave stand up a try is this her taking shots at drew dakota like no i'm not taking shots at my husband drew marshall like she hates when people say dakota she's like look he's not he, mm -mm, that's brand new it's marshall <laughs> is this just a bro 
Oh my goodness. Yes. I'm going to attempt an introduction with him. I definitely am. I'm going to have Avir go up to him. I know Avir is probably going to be like, hey man, like, I'm, it's good to see you doing good. You know, they just had you in Sims 2 and... You know, you just kind of disappeared on us. Like, we didn't know where you were, where your life was headed. Like, <laughs> you, you, it's, yeah, seeing you was like seeing a ghost. Ooh, let's ask to take a picture. Let's ask for her autograph. This is what, Octavia Bailey. Oh my goodness. Um, hi, hello, how you doing? Oh, she doesn't want to talk. Oh, girl, whatever. You, mm. Oh, wow. That's perfectly fine with me. Oh, my goodness. So I'm just going to let them work on their skills for a little bit, and then I will call it a night. All right, guys. So it is the next morning after the whole comedy club thing, and we are just chilling. Avir is still sleeping. We have Anastasia finishing up some homework that she had. Now, I will let you guys know this. Um, <laughs> so right now, she is a grade school a grade school C student. So she's basically a C student, but she really wants to be in the drama club. Okay. Now, Ramona said, listen, you can follow my foot, you know, the footsteps that I wanted to do for myself. You can, you can be in the drama club, but you need to at least have a, a B. You know what I'm saying? Like you cannot have a C. C is average. And we just want her to still uh, understand the importance of education as well. So, you know, Ramona, like I can't go against what she says. I want to put this girl in drama school so bad, a drama club so bad, because that's one of the features that I've been dying to play with. Um, so is the style influencer career. Like I've been dying to play that so i'm super excited about that so i just want her to hurry up and just advance in her grades so she can get a b so i can put her in the drama club like girl come on be on your best behavior um but you know that's ramona's rules and um kind of being a i mean i wouldn't call her a single mom because her dad is anastasia's dad is around but technically she has anastasia for most of the time because he's so busy so it's like you know you kind of have to lay down the rules you got to be the good parent and the bad parent and that's that's kind of hard like it, it really is like i feel so sorry for her sometimes oh and ramona's still feeling sad but today is her audition day we actually got her skill level to comedy level three so that was super exciting so i just know she has this audition in the bag uh, we could probably have her practice some acting too before she goes like that'll be so fun we are definitely going to work from home again and we just got promoted to consignment commenter avir has been promoted to consignment commenter she will now make an additional ten dollars per hour for a grand total of 28 dollars per hour she has also received the following bonus 370 dollars and a barely 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 better digital camera okay that's that's fine that's great <gasps> wait what did that say ramona's audition starts in an hour oh my gosh ramona so her audition starts in an hour wait why isn't she at school go to school you're late you're like 23 minutes late kiddo all right so bye anna we will see you when you get home and she is going to practice some acting um i know you're not taking that fruit salad in the bathroom i know you are not taking that fruit. she's taking the fruit salad in the bathroom anybody else get queasy about eating in the bathroom like even if i'm just in there i can't even eat chips in the bathroom like it's just so it's so weird like oh my goodness i told you to use the bathroom what are you doing oh she's putting the fruit salad oh i love it look at the realism she was like you know what i hear you i hear you ocean i will put the fruit over here she is headed off to her audition i really hope she picks her head up no she cannot go sad please pass this audition ramona you have got to do this this is oh man i didn't even get to like wish her well like oh my goodness okay oh but time to be a parent y'all now anastasia is a very very good kid but i think she's going to copy a classmates because she really wants an a and she's really trying to get in the drama club because it's just the thing right now and she's going to copy a classmates because she cannot miss another assignment like homegirl was late on her homework another thing you guys says food fight anastasia started a food fight in the cafeteria causing most of the students to join in we're still cleaning up oh my goodness this is the wrong person to call so because ramona is not home the house phone is freaking ringing and avir answered it and the only thing she can says she can say is what a natural leader to her starting a food fight if this was ramona she'd be like i'm coming up to school right now to snatch my child up oh my goodness well, at least her empathy increases, but her responsibility, yeah, the cracked egg basically explains that perfectly. Avir, like, you need to get your parenting skill up. <laughs> you really do now. Like, you have a child living with you now. Why would you tell her that? 
Ooh, you guys, it says audition pass. You have been approved to sell life extending products for preclinical pharmaceuticals. Yay! Filming time has been scheduled. Avoid sickness until the work is complete. All right, that sounds wonderful. Um, but my homegirl here, Ramona, is still sad. And I think she just, is she headed to the room to cry? She's feeling very down. And I think it's just being in the atmosphere last night of the comedy club and then having this audition today, it was overwhelming. Like you're trying to be happy for yourself because you got this gig, but now it's like the anxiety is kicking in. You're like, am I really doing this? Like this is just being in that comedy club again, kind of brought back bad memories and she's crying. And I think it's time for a beer to look girl like you have to come out here and i can cheer you up oh so it looks like she's here oh so i didn't even tell her to do this but it looks like she wants to hug a beer anyways go ahead and hug her so i think they're actually gonna hug anyways she actually really really wanted a beer to be there for her like she's like i need a hug like it says bring it in oh my gosh she looks like she's about to break freaking down all right so it seems like that actually kind of worked because now instead of feeling sad now she feels playful which is so funny and it's so fitting because avir is actually a goofball it's like she is seriously a goofball and she's super gregarious so it just fits you know she probably says something funny like girl you are a bad bitch like you are doing this right now you are beautiful you're gorgeous like you you left something that just wasn't it wasn't any good to you anymore you know what i'm saying like you need a new Beginning. who knows what's in store for y'all in the future or maybe if you just don't want to look back at all that's okay too but you're doing what's best for you and your daughter like come on like you are you are a sexy girl like you cute like <laughs> you too cute to be crying so she's like just playing with her and now she feels playful now she kind of wants to to joke around she's like you know what like i'm super excited you're right like i am i should be thankful for this like i now officially have my first gig Ooh, and i didn't even check it but it actually starts 12 p.m friday so tomorrow like 24 hours from now oh my goodness um oh we can invite over cat director and co-stars that is cool i think i might do that after we we do that little performance that's so cool um get in a playful emotion and perform funny interactions um develop your comedy skill mm. wow that is super super cool so we need to definitely do that today so actually this is hard i don't know why i chose this one why is this so hard <laughs> So here I have Avir submitting her article and this also adds some fame to us. So I went ahead and did that. So she's submitting her article and I can't even imagine Avir being like super famous because she's not about the fame for real. But I just love it because for her to fit in with like other famous celebrities, I think she's going to really like that. So I just... I don't know she's still a nobody in a sense like she's not famous right now but i just can see her being famous for something i love it so much because ooh, ooh, man that sucks okay so we were happy but then it says if you has submitted a bad article oh no okay like why though okay that kind of like stinks um and baby girl is still sad she wants to finish some homework today though and she's feeling very very tired so she's probably just gonna go head into her room and just go to sleep or she can just cry it out like just cry it out let's have her do that but i know mommy wants to celebrate we could definitely like cook out cook some hamburgers or something on the grill it's such a nice day here in delso valley like i really love the weather here it reminds me of oasis springs too so <laughs> there's that if you know me you know that that's my favorite neighborhood or uh, town or whatever you call it what do y'all call it town neighborhoods or whatever so she's here crying it out and i definitely think that ramona hears um that her daughter came inside so she's going to just give her daughter a hug and she's going to share her own insecurities after you know she 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 assumes that something is is like deeply beneath the surface like something's really wrong with her but she has no idea that her daughter was cheating a day on her test um but she's just gonna yeah she's gonna just oh yeah become best friends and yes let's suggest some fun let's go out here and grill something so let's have her resume hamburger ew let's throw that away i don't know how long that hamburger has been there or no you know what we could do we could just go to the park just like me her and avir we could all just go to the park here and kind of just have fun you know what i'm saying like 
she loves to play on this thing so much she's so happy that they have one here too because in oasis spring she used to love that little thing rejected write-up a recently submitted news news story was declined by the hacks and editorial who wouldn't know good writing if it jumped off the page without a care in the world and lived happily ever after so i know she has homework to do but we're just gonna let her play around a little bit and stuff and just you know have some fun and we are over here yes we're grilling out making burgers i think it is so cute how i'm doing this right now like she is really throwing down on the grill like this is normally something that maybe drew would have done but you know she's doing it herself that oh we completed these wow so just by talking to avir and just like taking like telling jokes and stuff we actually were able to um get that finished so now we can just chill and just enjoy each other's company so let's have anastasia come over here come on anastasia it's time to eat what's she doing she's going over oh she wants to chat with her her auntie evier she's like hi who are you talking to <laughs> evier's just like girl go ahead and get you some sausage and pepper it's like why are you right here right now while i'm talking i'm handling business right now <laughs> like oh she's actually making a friend like that's so cute oh no he's walking away wow Ooh, there's another little girl here too so we might as well like we could be a little trio like a little lizzie mcguire like that <laughs> you know what i'm saying like that's so cute or that's so raven there's always like two girls and one guy and they're always like a little trio and i i think anastasia would be in something like that and they have their own little their own little thing going on that's so cute she's like hi my name's anastasia and she's like oh hi my name is what is your name kyra Ooh, let's talk about school but yeah, you guys, I'm going to go ahead and end the part here. I hope you enjoyed this first part of this series. And I can't wait for more of Ramona and just seeing where her and her family goes. And yeah, if you like what you saw, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and turn those post notifications on. Hit that bell right beside the subscribe button. And I will see y'all in the next video. Thank you so much. Peace out, y'all.